So when we get rid of the industrialized school systems that we have, we can do hire uh, more artists to teach classes to all the kids. It's, everyone learns to draw and dance and do theater. It's just everybody gets to try these things and have classes on them. And the cost would probably be 500000 per school. You could get four trained artists in theater and dance. And you have recording studios where they can make a CD of their their songs and their music they might write some songs which is really great for creativity um you know keeping journals is real important writing letters to people that those kind of activities they build character and also they build creativity and thinking skills um including philosophy um into our teachings um simplified of course in, in school but just to make them aware of epicurious and john locke and things like that um art therapy in every school to um because arts is a great way to learn communication and children act up sometimes because they don't know how to communicate what the problem is so we need teachers that can you know get the child to the art therapy room or individual art therapy, or just even classroom art therapy, where they all come in and they do some work. Um, but I, I think a lot of times, because most people have not trained in the arts, they don't really understand, you know, how important they are. Um, they don't really know about them so much. I. When I was going through school, I never had to take a theater class. I didn't think I could do it, and I was very shy. Um, I did play musical instruments, but I kind of let that go um, when I got, you know, when I moved on into college. I didn't have a piano or a flute. Um, but it really would have been nice to have some recordings of. I took band, and that's good. But we also need like rock band. We we need we need all different kinds of expression of children's music. It might be punk rock. You know that's great. Express yourself. Get angry. I met a girl at the seventeen oh eight show last night, and we were talking. And she was a student, and we were discussing one of um Helfgott's paintings. And um, she had a fire. She really did. She had a fire in her to make art. And um. I could tell she's a little frustrated, and we were talking just a little. You know, and she thought it looked like stretch marks, and I said, "No, I don't think." It, I, to me, the it was more of a battle between good and evil in, in that painting. But I didn't tell her that. But she, she was. I could tell she had a fire to make art, and that's good. You know, it's good. That's really good. Um, it's a lot to learn, a lot of techniques to practice, a lot of things to learn. Um, but the more practiced you are, the better you are at making it for, for people in a professional sense. Um, but yeah, you know, if you have to take math, you should also take dance. You want to balance, my mom used to say a balanced, um, well-rounded education. And right now, we're not. We're not a well-rounded education. Um, so yeah, you know... I love theater, and it's a little bit more of a challenge to attend, and it's a different kind of attention span than, say, a movie. So I think both are good. I'm not saying they're not, but we need all of our kids to be exposed to theater and um, take theater classes, dance classes, music classes, and just have it part of their world to change our school systems to be better, more creative, and the thing that I, you know, it's a hypothesis, but I think if we're more creative, we're going to have smarter kids in science to help us solve some of that, those issues, too. Um, and then also the violence that is going on um, with the art therapy and the expression of, of the arts in school is going to change that. It just will. And people have more of a frame of reference of quality of life versus just making money. That that's it is it is great to have money. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of responsibility to have a lot of money because then you owe the society and culture in which you're with to help them. You owe them with agape and charity. Um, so how to spend that money in the best sense to help people get educated and and things like that. I 
when I hear let's feed people, I'm like, let's build greenhouses so they have a place they can go grow their own food or chicken houses, you know, small little free range chicken houses. And um, so to me around the world, we need to educate people, you know, and we could do that through Peace Corps, not an addition that if you graduate high school, when you do, that you could go into the Peace Corps and go around the world and your your view would just be opened on things. Even if you don't want to be in the military, um, just going around helping people to give, um, give our students a perspective on things and a little bit of money. Um, but, you know, say a four-year thing in Peace Corps, and then maybe later on you want to go to university. And one thing I worry about is universities making money, and I'm thinking we should include trade schools in universities so to keep the momentum up for the money that it takes to run the universities, that we could include the trade schools there too that we need.